Yu Yu Hakusho Abridged, episode 15. This would be uh, Kurama versus Genbu, who I believe was the one character I made an actual reference to the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. I, th- I think I just gave him, like, and, and kind of barely at that, I just made him say Get Her Done a bunch. Which, yeah, close enough, I guess. Um, this one would come out about a month after the previous one. And by this point, I definitely would have met Kaiser and Taka. Or at the very least, been aware of them. Taka would have been doing uh, G Gundam Abridged at this point. And I think Kaiser came out with uh, Lupin the Third Abridged around this point. Which is when uh, I would have started interacting and, you know, just like either commenting or just messaging them on, I think back then we used Skype. Uh, and yeah, kind of start to slowly build up a friendship there. But uh, first and foremost, I was entering, like kind of in the middle uh, of my second semester of college. I don't even remember what I was studying at the time. I think I was uh, doing mostly like theater kind of stuff for trying to, you know, I was, I was still trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do in college. So I was just doing whatever. Uh, frankly, I do not remember a lot about my course load when I was in a university. So uh, that entire part is a blur. What I do remember is making anime parodies. And with this one, I... Uh, See, about a month later, so I would have been, uh, yeah, just nothing much would have changed otherwise in this situation, other than the fact that I would have started to meet more people, uh, continuing to grow a bit more competent and a bit more, uh, confident in my abilities to create these videos. Yeah, let's take a look at some statistics here. Yu Yu Hakusho abridged episode 15. Currently sits at 601,000 views, more than the previous one. Interesting. Uh, But fewer likes. Fascinating. 4.9 thousand likes. That's a very very interesting differential there. Hmm. Let's take a look at some comments. I just want to say happy birthday. I know it's on September. September 28th, but I don't know when you're going to do episode 14, so that's why I'm posting this now. I uh, did not record this on my birthday, but greatly appreciate it. As you can see by the skeletons playing arcade games behind me, it's, it's October. That's when they crawl out from beneath the earth to come up here and play video games in my arcade machines. You can join us and them. I stream most nights, usually around seven or eight o'clock central time on twitch it's a fun time we're playing spooky games this month don't know what i you know what whatever's going on like at the point when you're watching this probably still playing something fun hanging out uh love the series could you uh could you shout out that you'll do the dark tournament on the other channels like your dbz commentary these videos are quite old and many people probably aren't subbed to this channel despite wanting the series to continue i have over 128,000 subscribers so it's not it's not that we don't have enough subscribers to hit the metrics that we're looking for it's just you know i of the people that are here that are subscribed i just want to see like you know g- generate you know interest if the interest isn't there, it's, it's it's hard to justify. And I get the idea of cross-promoting, but I feel like that almost kind of pollutes it a little bit. You know, trying to, like, organically grow a series kind of dealio. But I get you. It's, it is what it is. But again, 20,000 views on each of these and 2,000 thumbs up. Or 100,000 on one and 10,000 likes, I think I said. It's a really high bar, but eh, never know. Uh, The return of Yu Yu Hakusho Bridge would be freaking hype. Uh, I also don't want to like, I want to make sure that I'm not going to like set up anybody for like disappointment. If I do do something with the Dark Tournament, it would probably be uh, something more along the lines of what we did with like, you know, DBZ Kai or like the 
blank in X minutes kind of dealio. Where it would, you know, give me a chance to like tell some jokes and stuff that I had wanted to tell, but I don't know that I could possibly dedicate myself and whoever I suckered into editing its time to make what would probably be like 30 episodes of a show that with, with like a, a dubious ability to like make any profit off of something like that. It, it, it's, it's a matter of resources at that point, you know, but like that, that's kind of what I was thinking when I was talking dark tournament stuff. And if that turns anybody off, I, I get you. I get you. But it's what I it's what I have the capability of doing right now. Started using the phrase son of a whore because of this episode. Thank you, Lanny. I would I, I would continue to drag that into Dragon Ball Z Abridged with me. No doubt. Uh, starting to want Lanny to start a new episode from this more than uh, I do him doing more Dragon Ball Abridged. Unless they start doing GT stuff. I got no idea what the future holds with that stuff. We, like, we had no intention of even doing the boo bits until, uh, like, halfway through the summer when Kaiser brought up, hey, Mark's doing this thing, and we can do some stuff with that, with all these jokes that we uh, kind of had in a document and never had a chance to use. And I'm like, interesting. So kind of what I suggested a while ago. I was like, shut up. I'm like, yeah, I get you. I get you. So we did that. The world is a strange place. Anyway, Yu Yu Hakusho Bridge Parody, episode 15. Kicking it off with Chin Po the Wanderer. I'm sorry, son, but I can't stay. I must wander. Da 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 da, Divad mute. Ba bi da da, Divad da ba de da da, ba de da da. Bye, Chin Po. Da da. Hey, Okubo. Okubo! Time to wake up and go to work! Da. Why did I give his mom a, like, Eric Cartman woman voice? Okubo! Maybe that's just the kind of woman I expect Chinpo the Wanderer to marry. Ah, uh, oh boy. Fry cooking. Karate, I kick your ass! Here to Tiananmen Square! Oh yeah, mother naughty word. I'm gonna kick your bad with dairy air. Yeah, yeah. You broke the rules. Now I pull out all your pubic hair. You mother another bad word. You mother should be ashamed of yourself. If you choke a smurf, what color does it turn? Purple. It would turn purple. Don't ask how I know. Uh, I, I guess I started adding weird messages to my videos here for some reason, or the openings there for some reason. No clue why. Uh, yeah, clearly I had no actual idea for an opening there, but I had that Okubo bit in the back of my head. I think that was like an in-joke between myself and, uh, Vegeta3986. There's just like, yeah, yeah, Okubo is like definitely Chinpo's, like Chinpo the Wanderer's kid or something like that. Eh, let's do something with that. Why not? I, I... Who gives a shit? I made Genbu Larry the Cable Guy. I'll do what the fuck I want. Hey, Hiei. You okay down there? I'm fine. Leave me alone. Are you sure? We could easily get that rock off you. I said I'm fine. Go away. <laughs> okay, get it off me. I think that was going to be my intro. You sure are a peculiar bunch, I'll tell you what. Mm, they done made a bad then they're getting betrayed. Sling Blade. Mm. Hank Hill. We haven't seen this in quite a long time, have we, Vern? My uh, name Jim Varney. Is Vern, Master Sazako, it's Marogo. And Whatever just another bad say, girl Vern. voice. Leave the intruders to me. I know just how to get her done. Ah, ha, ha! After just now. No. No. Huh? Hey! Oh, God, not again! <laughs> you said that ringtone, didn't you? You're in That's pretty good. The reaction was well worth it. Where you at, dog? What are you talking about? I'm at where I'm always at. Doing your f***ing dirty work! Oh, quit your bitchin'. I just called to let you know that it seems the I think that was a reference to a mobile phone ad? in the minds of depressed people. Well, at least that should narrow down your search a bit then, shouldn't it? Not really. This is Japan, after all. Oof. Oh, yeah. Anyway, how far have you gotten? Uh, don't even ask. We barely made it past the front door. Oh, you mean the gate of betrayal? Yeah, that one is pretty bad. Wait, you have information on this place? Yep. 
Well, why don't you help us out a bit then? Where the hell are we going? Sorry, no time. Gotta go, Yusuke! You know what, Photon? You can suck, Mike! Excuse me? I take it that didn't yield many positive results. Nope. You know, you think you'd get used to it after a while, but you really don't. I love playing with the incompetence of spirits, like uh, like the spirit world. Just like, oh yeah, we, we got info. We could give you some intel. Bye. Cause I, like, I always feel like throughout the show, they always keep something from Yusuke. Just a vital bit of information that somebody in some file cabinet could have found. Just been like, oh yeah, this is relevant. So, uh, what are we supposed to do now? Why don't y'all step through that door and we'll have some fun. <laughs> Anyone else getting kind of a deliverance sort of vibe? Shut up and get your ass over here. I am now. Yeah, Just you are. shut up and move. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. We I'm actually kind of proud of the vocal effect I slapped on uh, my voice for Genbu. Like, I think all I did was just talk down here, and then uh, I just slapped a bunch of filters on it and made it sound what good. Don't take too kindly to your kind around here, humans. And why the hell did you invite us in further rather than lead us into another trap? <laughs> Shut up. Yay! <laughs> Does anyone want to exp That was good. That was good timing. I like, I like, I like that timing. I was, I was definitely getting my timing down at this point. Which is something I would eventually pride myself on when we started DBZA. And we don't take too kindly to your kind around here, humans. And why the hell did you invite us in further rather than lead us into another trap? Tick. Tick. Shut up. Yeah. Yay! Does anyone want to explain to me why there's a giant talking rock? His name is Genbu. And he's possibly the only thing in this castle that's dumber than you. That's a lot of talk coming from you, human lover. What did you call me? Relax, EA. This one's mine. Well, looks like we got ourselves a taker. Okay, I guess it's time we... Get her done. What is with that laughter? Who in their right mind would think that's funny? <laughs> Humans! <laughs> He said, get her done! <laughs> I think I just pissed my pants! You know, I'd say I'm disappointed, but... Ah, comedy! Through, I'd have to be surprised. So, fun fact, comedy is actually my least favorite genre of entertainment. Like, I... I can enjoy a good comedy. I can enjoy, stand like, a good stand-up special and stuff like that. And I do like to laugh. But when it comes to, like, the type of media I absorb... I typically like my comedy mixed with something else, like horror comedy. Horror comedy I really enjoy. Uh, but just pure comedies, those are a real crapshoot. And, like, one of, the, one of the reasons that I like other genres of movies is, like, any other bad movie of any other particular genre can still be a funny movie. Just a really bad movie. But a bad comedy is painful. If you have to sit through a bad comedy... Nobody's having a good time. So that, that, that's my justification. Also, uh, going back to this point when I was first watching this episode of Yu Yu Hakusho, you know, just as a preteen slash teenage, young teenager, can't really remember, uh, just seeing Kurama step up, it's like, okay, what's this guy about? What, what, what does he do? I, I was actually kind of hyped for this episode. It's like, okay, yeah, we've never seen this guy go. But he, a, the guy that, you know, practically kicked the shit out of Yusuke early on, seems to respect him and fear him to a certain extent, like to the point that, you know, he seems to have some unknown power. I was I was ready for shut this up. shit. I'm about to make you hurt more than a pantsless kid in Michael Jackson's room. Oof! Oh boy, a Michael Jackson joke. How original. Guess that's why he's paid the big bucks. Um, are you guys sure that the fluffy red-haired guy can handle this? You fluffy. Do you have any idea why I brought Karama with me? Karama's a ruthless fighter, and he's even more cutthroat than I. Yeah, as soon as he I dropped that line, I'm like, ooh, let's touch. see. Oh, oh, son of a whore! There I'm it is. I regret your decision to fight me more than a, um, pantsless kid in Michael Jackson's room. You've already used that joke. Um, uh, um, er, uh, get her done. Got him! Great, now that thing could be anywhere. Look out, Karama! Don't worry, Karama has a plan. I can see it from the look on his face. Oh, god 
damn it. If you're trying to win me over now, you should know I don't swing that way. Great, now I have retard and surround sound. What are you Man, I leaned me? on that word. Nothing that will be of much consequence in a few seconds. Rose Whip! I'm Apparently. Well, I'm tired of you and your fancy fifth grade educated words. Die! Rose Whip Lash! Back when every anime had to have attack names. Now that's what I call flower power. Shut up, you're a messy. Shut up. <laughs> Don't think you can get rid of me that easy. I'm harder to kill than a stone cockroach. For once, I find your analysis to be quite accurate. I don't know what you just said, but it pisses me right the f*** off. Rawr! Um, Karama isn't moving. Are you sure he's as good a fighter as you said? Honestly, I'm not quite sure anymore. Ow. <laughs> now that's my idea of getting stoned. <laughs> if Karama's laughing at that thing, then he's in more trouble than we thought. No, actually, far from it. That's a lot of talk coming from a city slicket. Wait a minute, this ain't right. I'm all discombobulated. To put it lightly, yes. Yes, you are. What'd you do to me? I simply removed this. It must have been the equivalent of the hypothalamus section of your brain. It manipulates all of the necessary faculties and duties of your body. In this case, <laughs> Duty. the process of putting back together. And here's where I really started to like Yoshihiro Tagashi. Like, I had already really enjoyed Yu Yu Hawk show up until this point. But then he starts busting out, like, psycho, like, you know, uh, physio psychological, like, shit and reasoning behind why somebody is losing a fight. It's like, oh, hey, that thing's the part of your brain that, you know, will let you put yourself back together normal. I'm a yoink that. I fucking love creative conclusions to a fight. Done. No! No more laugh track! Well, this sucks more than a- If you make one more stupid comparative joke, I'm going to kill you. Two dollar whore with no gag reflex. Man, bye! I regret everything! Get her done, motherfucker. See, Put it back in his face! I told you, Karama and I can handle this whole thing by ourselves. These things can't even touch us. <sighs> well. Shit. Oh well, this one was supposed to be the guard, right? I mean, maybe the next one won't be that tough. <laughs> one, two, three, not it! Not it! Not it! Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> I cut off before Biako. That doesn't feel right. Weird. I can't believe I did the abridged movie before I did Biako. That 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 seems wrong to me. But I I have shit in reverse order when I'm like looking through like the timeline and stuff, so I guess <laughs> See, we went the whole episode without making a dickhead joke. I'm proud of myself for that. Providing as much highbrow entertainment as possible is our duty. Highbrow. <laughs> he said duty again. May mm. I please kill him now? Ah, uh, definitely not highbrow. Though I was happy that using Karama does allow me to be a bit wordier. I do have a collection of nice words I like to use. And Karama gives me an excuse to actually use them. Use game. Kuwabara, not so much. Not so much. Fun as they are. I actually kind of enjoyed that episode. That's that's weird. Like, it's obvious that a lot of it is, like, very dated. I, I look back at it, but compared to my very early episodes, I'm like, this, this is okay. This is all right. And moving on from here, we would uh, get a... Uh, God... For the longest time, I still feel like, like I, I felt for the longest time that the Poltergeist Report movie was actually kind of like the peak of what I was able to do on my solo stuff, just in terms of like writing in uh, this particular parody project. 
Though I also remember enjoying what I did with Rescue Yukina too. So I, I guess, you know, it remains to be seen. I have not looked back on the Yu Yu Hakusho abridged movie. Then again, I also haven't looked back on many of these either. So it'll be very interesting to go back and take a look and see what's going on. Because I'm pretty sure, uh, let, let me just double check here. Going reverse timeline, episode 14, 15, then Poltergeist Report Part 1, 2, 3, and 4. Holy shit, yeah. I guess I spent all of April and May making those. And then I went back to May's Castle. So that'll be that'll be interesting because I, I remember like learning a lot when I was doing the Poltergeist report. I am very intrigued, but we'll have to get to that one next time. Until then. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also got a new shirt on sharkrobot.com. It's a Team Four Star thing, but I'm part of that, so I'm like, got this. You can, you can have it too. If you want. Bye.